Well, hi, all. Dave out in Western Pennsylvania, USA. I'm working with TEG, Thermoelectric Generators. And in this little setup, uh, I'm using a Bunsen burner, so natural gas source of energy, thermal energy, just to uh, heat up quickly and efficiently. Normally, I'm using uh, animal fat, beef tallow, bioethanol, or biodiesel as a renewable energy source. And uh, nothing fancy with this setup. I have a little aluminum dish that you can get at a dollar store or Salvation Army Goodwill. The thermal electric generator is a rel relatively inexpensive device like this with leads attached. You can get them on eBay for about $2.50 each, uh, USD plus postage. They're cheap. Don't heat them with a direct flame, you'll burn them out. You get above 220 Celsius. Most of these are made for the cooling effect, the peltier effect. So uh, we're looking at the Seebeck effect here. We're heating it up to create electricity. So where are we and what are we heating? In the dish, I have silicone oil. And the silicon oil, not silicone, silicon oil, uh, we use as uh, medium, thermal medium uh, heating baths in a laboratory. I got this from uh, Fisher Scientific, silicon oil. It's a clear liquid, high boiling. Any uh, chemist would know the material very well. So that's being heated in the uh, bowl. We are at about 80 degrees heating this. Yeah, we're about 80 degrees right now. I got a thermometer immersed in it. I have a little uh, cooling device, uh, an aluminum block from a circuit board. And uh, I've got the thermal electric generator sitting on that with a pan of ice. We're at 1.07 volts And there's very little resistance. That's your open volt, uh, open voltage, 1.08 now, 1.09. It's going up steadily, 110, 1.10. Oh, let me do a short circuit. And uh, we're at 165 milliamps. I'll bring it back to voltage. It'll rebound very quickly. And that's, uh, let's suppose the ice there, let's suppose we're around zero Celsius, huh? And the oil bath is now at 93. Oil bath at 93 degrees. So we have a temperature differential of 93 degrees. And we're getting 1.17 volts. 1.18. Now, what I hope to do is hook up three of these TEGs in series, get that voltage above uh, 3.7 volts so I can uh, recharge lithium ion batteries, uh, let's say 26 uh, milliamp hour conventional lithium batteries, 3.7 volts, and uh, of that energy density and uh, Let's see where we're at now. Just about 100. You can use glycerin, but if there's any water in there, it's going to be smoking, driving off water vapor, any organic impurities. I like the silo silicon uh, bath as a thermal medium. And I'll hook these up, as I said, in series. I have a uh, water-cooled aluminum block that is often used to cool CPUs. And I'll put three of these on an aluminum block we're at 1.30 volts. So with three of these, and I'm only at about 110 degrees, that's pretty good. So we're steadily climbing. I would mix calcium chloride with the ice. That might get you an extra 10 degrees. I don't know if it'll help that much. 
but this is very easy to carry out. And uh, in a third part, I'll have three of them hooked up, and we'll see uh, how we do with charging the uh, lithium battery. We're at 115 degrees, 1.37 volts. So, so far we're doing very well with this. Very easy to set up. It's a very good bench scale demonstration of uh, thermal to electric. What I'm going to do in our campus greenhouse, I'm a chemistry professor with the uh, University of Western Pennsylvania. Well, what I'm going to do is use a solar oven, inside or outside, depending on whether it's uh, rainy or not. And I'm going to heat up silicon oil, and I'm going to bring it up to 200 degrees Celsius and keep it in a thermos, see? And I will bridge a gap between the thermos with the oil and another thermos with ice and water and have the TEGs uh, bridging the gap. Or you can always just pour it in the pan at nighttime and use it. We're at 1.43 volts and we're at 120 degrees or so. I don't know if you can see that or not. There we are. 125 degrees, 1.46 volts. So of course I have this, it's convenient because I have a Bunsen burner there. But you can use beef tallow as I said or vegetable oil or bioethanol and an alcohol lamp. I have some of those over here. Alcohol lamps. And uh, very ex inexpensive if you want to charge up batteries and work with thermal electric. And uh, we're closing in on one and a half volts. There we are. And we're doing that at 130 degrees. Now, as I said, you could probably safely go up to 200, even 220. I wouldn't push it. I would stay below myself. I would stay below 220 Celsius. And uh, I don't know about the silicon oil. You think I would know after all these years? Uh, that's way up there. You could probably get up to 300 degrees higher with the silicon oil. I never tried to uh, push it up much higher than that. I'd probably look it up. You can look it up to uh, Wikipedia. But uh, glycerin might be better for you. Yeah, we're about 133 with a hefty 1.54 volts. Let's check the circuit. And we're at 199 and dropping now. 199 is what I saw, milliamps short circuit. And uh, I'll bring it right back up. And uh, we're at one point. Uh, 1.51 1.51 so uh, you look around on eBay and uh, I get them in from China and they're usually around two dollars fifty cents each and postage the side that you heat is going to have the numbers and you see that grayish material I put heat sink compound you can get this on eBay, and that's a very good heat sink compound that I apply to uh, the TEG before I press it down on my uh, aluminum block and immerse it in the silicon oil. Now right now I have a little metal plate uh, around a, a disc that I have the TEG on, but if you look carefully you can see the uh, TEG is sitting on an uh, aluminum uh, cooling block with fins from a computer. Let's see where we're at. 140 degrees, 142, 1.61 volts. 
and that's at uh, 145 degrees. So we're safely within the range of safety for the TEG. But I would not heat it directly, even with the oil, I still would put that thermal grease on there to distribute heat. It's inexpensive. Yep, 145 degrees, 1.62 volts. So what I'll do is I'll hook up, as I said, three of them on an aluminum block. I have an aluminum block water-cooled that uh, has sufficient length that I can get three of these uh, TEGs on it. I want to stop this at 150. And... Uh, Yeah, we're closing in now on uh, 150, 1 1.63 volts. Look for my additional uh, upload, uploaded videos. Uh, the next one will have the three in series. I'll show you the setup on that, and uh, we'll see how we do. Hey, you thank, thank, thanks for watching my videos. You have a good day, and uh, try your hand at it. Let me know how you're doing. Take care. Bye for now.